All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be using the Boulder Crusher from uh, the Goron City. It's got 60 damage or whatever, and it's going to help out a lot for killing Stone Talus. That's how we're going to farm some rupees, because they drop a bunch of different uh, gems and diamonds, stuff like that. So, let's take a look at my map. I have a bunch of them marked out. I'll show you a couple of them, but we're going to go over to Tabitha Tower over in the uh, top right over by Rito Village. You'll see it in a second, but... Uh, I used a app called Breath Champion to help me find some of the stone talus because they are scattered everywhere and I was lazy and didn't explore. So we're going to zoom in real quick and you guys can see exactly where it is. It's in like Greta Crater or something like that, Gisa Crater. And I'm going to show you the easiest way I have found to kill them. You're going to activate them by stepping on them or going around them. I try to land on top of them, that way I can try to stay on top. This one kicks me off, both of them in this video do. And you're going to crawl up the back of them, that's the easiest way. And you're just going to spin with your big sword, or boulder crusher while I'm using. See how quick it goes? If you don't have that kind of stuff, you can always use bomb arrows, try to get a high ground and hit it. Some of them have uh, spots on their back, it's a lot harder to get them. But see, there's one diamond right there. And diamonds are worth about 500 each. So we're going to stop on another one. And if you are just discovering them, you can use the stasis to find them. As you can see, it glows. And you're going to go try to go whack it with stasis. And it's going to be an enemy. So once again, I climb up on top. And I just couldn't stay on I'm, I tried something different there. I thought maybe if I had my grasp on it. But same thing. Crawl up to the top. Spin attack. And it'll die very quickly. And after this, I will take you guys to the store, and you guys can see how much you can get in a mass quantity of those. So if you're still learning how to play and stuff like that, or just picked it up, you'd be able to do this. It's very easy. I don't like the dragon farming one, but it's whatever. So you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think the best way of farming rupees is, and maybe I'll try it out, and who knows. But take a look at the prices and then enjoy the outro. Peace out, guys.